Good morning, my friends. Yes, it's that time. You know who this is. Yes, it's the Easter Bunny baby, a young one. So we have spring time and I hope you're seeing all kinds of things growing and that um, there are fun things ahead. I want you to know about Samuel's uh, Public Library having a spring fling with a very large Easter Bunny here to hand out special treat bags on the 27th of March, two to four. So come and get your special bag. So I have um, a treat with um, spring things and a couple of spring books. So Bunny's gonna sit and listen. And I just wanted to show you what we're gonna be planting when you come to the library and want to come play in the children's garden. These wonderful flowers are gonna be planted so that when you come, it's especially pretty for you. So I wish you could smell them, they smell incredible really really nice so put that there and our first book today is called a bunny for all seasons by janet schulman so you know the four seasons don't you but it's nice to review and remember what happens in each season. Winter, that we just are finishing up. Spring, summer, and fall. So Bunny's gonna tell us about that. One hot summer day, a little brown bunny rabbit hopped out of the woods and into a garden. Her nose quivered and sniffed. She smelled so many things to eat she hardly knew where to start. Soon, we'll have gardens for bunnies to come sniff, won't we? The carrot tops were very good, the lettuce even better, and the strawberries, oh, they were something special. Are strawberries your favorite or blueberries? The bunny ate and ate until she could eat no more. Then she sniffed and hopped to the part of the garden with all the pretty flowers. What a wonderful garden someone has made just for me, she thought. That is a very pretty garden. Every day that summer, the bunny visited the garden. The yellow beans were a treat. She wasn't so sure about the big red tomatoes. Are you a fan of tomatoes? Some days an old cat would chase her, but she was always faster. Bunnies are very quick. In the fall, the days got cooler and shorter but there were still cabbages and parsnip tops and radishes, all very tasty. The bunny had grown bigger and now her fur was getting thicker. That's her winter coat, like you have to pull out your winter coat. More leaves fell every day. There wasn't much left in the garden besides the big orange Pumpkins, oh, those are always fun to pick and decorate. She couldn't eat them, but they were very good to hide behind when the cat came slinking by. And early one morning, she found a surprise by the tool shed. It was another bunny, a gray bunny. How nice to make a friend. The two bunnies sniffed and hopped until their noses touched. The brown bunny was so happy she had found a friend.
Winter came, the wind howled, the snow fell, the two bunnies snuggled up together in their burrow in the woods. All they had to eat was bark from the smallest trees. Are they gonna burrow in? Yeah, bunnies make a home under the ground. One moonlit night, the two bunnies went to the garden. They hopped and danced and played and ch played chase on the snow covered lawn all around the garden, just for the fun of it. On the first warm day of spring, the brown bunny went to the garden. She sampled the green shoots popping up around the crocuses. Then she bit off the tenderest ones, made sure the cat was sound asleep, and hopped back to her burrow. In a little while, the brown bunny returned. The gray bunny came too, and guess what came with them? <gasps> there are three new little bunnies. That is so fun. All spring long, the baby bunnies ate delicious daffodil and tulip leaves under the watchful eyes of daddy and mommy bunny. Could it ever get better? Oh yes, just wait till summer, their mommy promised. And so it was. The end. Miss Patty's family, my children had bunnies and it was always fun to have the babies and play with them. And maybe you will visit Rural King in town and see the baby bunnies and chicks and point out what your favorite one is, what color. So um, I made a little craft that maybe you could make at home. If you have muffin cups, muffin holders, and um, cut them just a little bit, and then you glue them on your paper and you can color your sky. I was gonna put some clouds in there, but I forgot. So, and then if you cut your little grass, gosh, you could even use um, Easter basket grass and glue it on. So make your own little garden and then um, you can color the stems, but I decided to glue some. Can you see what that is? Yeah, straws. So that was just kind of fun and um, just a little springtime garden. I have another story for you called Taking a Walk Spring in the Woods by Sue Tarski. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw lots of trees. Some of them looked like lollipops. It's kind of fun to look at the trees and see what shapes they make. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees and one brown bear. The brown bear was very big. Do you see where the brown bear is hiding? I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, and two blue birds. The birds sang a song for me. Can you find the two blue birds? I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two blue birds, and three bushy-tailed red foxes. The foxes did not see me. Do you see the three foxes? One, two, three. They're there. 
I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two blue birds, three bushy-tailed red foxes, and four brown deer. Can you count the four brown deer? The deer had great big antlers. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two bluebirds, three bushy-tailed red foxes, four brown deer, and five, five squirrels gray squirrels. The squirrels were leaping from tree to tree. Wow, our woods are getting very busy, aren't they? All kinds of things to find and count. Counting is fun. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two blue birds, three bushy-tailed red foxes, four brown deer, five gray squirrels and six pink flowers. The flowers were blowing in the wind. Do you see the pink flowers? There's one. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two blue birds, three bushy tailed red foxes, four brown deer, five gray squirrels, six pink flowers, and seven yellow bumblebees. The bumblebees were buzzing around the flowers. Of course, they love the flowers. I like bumblebees because I have never been stung by one, so I'm not afraid of them. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two blue birds, three bushy tailed red foxes, four brown deer, five gray squirrels, six pink flowers, seven bumblebees, and eight orange caterpillars. The caterpillars were crawling along the leaves. There's an orange caterpillar and many more to count. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two blue birds, three bushy tailed red foxes, there's one, four brown deer, oh, there's one, six pink flowers, oh, I forgot the gray squirrels. There's the gray squirrels and the pink flowers. There's one. Seven yellow bumblebees. There's one. Eight orange caterpillars. There's one. And nine little white rabbits. Look at that. What's next? I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw green trees, one big brown bear, two bluebirds, three bushy tailed red foxes, four brown deer, five gray squirrels, six pink flowers, seven yellow bumblebees, eight orange caterpillars, nine little white rabbits, and 10, do you see something new there? Purple butterflies. Do you see all the purple butterflies? All around, 10 of them. That is a very busy forest. I went for a walk in the woods today. I saw lots of green trees, one big brown bear, two bluebirds, three bushy-tailed red foxes, four deer, five gray squirrels, six pink flowers, seven yellow bumblebees, eight 
orange caterpillars, nine white rabbits, and 10 purple butterflies. What a good walk I had. The end. Well, now that it's springy outdoors and a little warmer, maybe you will go for a walk and you will notice some of these around the trees and in the ground and all about. So thank you for listening and I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy playing outside. The whole week is supposed to be lovely. So have a good day. Bye-bye.